begins with the first heart sound and ends with the second heart sound. It is commonly heard in mitral regurgitation, tricuspid regurgitation, and ventricular septal defect. This type of murmur is caused by backward blood flow. Since the pressure remains higher throughout systole in the ejecting chamber than in the receiving chamber, the murmur is continuous throughout systole. The following recording will introduce a pansystolic murmur having an even intensity throughout systole. The next example will demonstrate the actual sounds from a patient with mitral regurgitation. In this example, note the rather high frequency of the murmur, a characteristic commonly encountered in this condition.